Hello everyone. Welcome to our group C. How are you this is evening? I hope all of you have a great day. Today we would like to tell you about a story. Before we tell the story, we want to introduce our group member. Our group member are 20230026122030230026152020230026232030230026232030230026232030230026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030026232030
That's why I was late. The lion, after hearing this word, got very mad and said, "I'm the stronger animal, and I'm the king. Just show me where he lived." Then the rabbit led the lion to an old well. Our king, that lion lived in this old well. The lion looked into the well. When he saw his own reflection, he thought it was another lion, and he roared. <coughs> Sound echo. He believed the other lion was roaring too. I will prove my power right now. Furious, he jumped into the well, trying to attack the lion. In the end. A ravenous lion meet the fate and die. You are the hero who say that we are sorry for being mean to you. Can you forgive us? You are my friend. Of course, I can forgive you. Don't worry about it. The stories tell us that being big and strong doesn't make someone great. What they truly matter is being kind and fair to the other. So let's be like the rabbit, brave, kind, and also fair. We can make the world a better place that way. Now, this is the end of the story named the Brave Rabbit. I hope all of you have learned the moral lesson that you gained from this story. Now we would like to say goodbye. To everyone that is watching this presentation to the end patiently. See you soon, everyone. Have a great day.